Okay, so in this um, video, I'm going to show you the coolest part of this pattern stamp technique, which is the fact that you can sample um, colors from any image you find. And it is so much fun. There are so many possibilities. So just as a little example here, I downloaded this image from Unsplash and now I want to use these blues as my color palette. And first thing that I want to do is this image is huge. So I want to resize it. So I'm going to go image, image size, and I'm just going to make it like mm, definitely under 500 pixels, but I could make it like 400, let's say 400 by two, no, let's put it 300, 300 by 184. It doesn't matter the resolution or anything. So, because we just, we just need the colors. So, and we don't want too big of a, a size so that we can see all those colors while we paint. So that's cool. I find the sweet spot like 250 to 500, something like that. And, um, but it can really be any size. So now I'm going to go to edit, define pattern, and that's gonna define that whole image as my pattern, or as we will, you know, use them as a color blend. So now I will just go here and grab my pattern stamp tool, and I'm going to, um, up here at the top, I'm, that, that's where I'm gonna select my pattern. And here it is right here, I can recognize it. So the little preview, let's get that. Make sure our impressionist is checked. And now let's, um, let me go find a different brush here. Find a pretty one from our, um, this is my modern impressionist collection, but I have so many collections and it doesn't matter which collection you're working with. So, here is this one's kind of streaky but here we can see the color blends and all those um colors coming out of there so dramatically and this is a really fun one too let me just zoom out here because we're a little bit close zoomed in and so now we can see all of those colors from this are just going to come out of here and also because there's quite a lot of colors in there you know like every brush stroke could be different so we can just go like this and see how you're just every time you're going to get a different color blend and that's what makes it a lot of fun. So that is how you use the whole image to create your color blend. And now I'm going to show you how you can use part of an image. So let's just shut that. I'm not going to save. And now I have got this image here and we don't, um, we don't want to use the whole image as our color blend, but let's say I want a neutral color palette, something really neutral. So I like these colors that are happening up here. So what I can do is take my marquee tool, my rectangular marquee tool, and select this. And now as I select it, I can see that the size of my selection is really big. This is a really big thing, really big thing, um, image. So I actually want to stop. I want to go image, image size, and I want to shrink this down a lot smaller. So I will just put this as 500. That's okay. Now let's just pop back in here. And let's just take our marquee tool, select over here. And now we've got a selection that's like 140 by 120. That's fine. And so now what I'm going to do is I've got that selection made, and now I'm going to go to edit define pattern and now the, my pattern is not the whole image but just part of the image so i'll click ok and then i'm going to do the same thing i kind of like these beautiful uh orange uh, brown kind of colors in here so i'm just going to select this area right here in the center and um, with my marquee tool and now again i'll go to edit define pattern and as I can see, I just have that um, kind of amber gold color. I'll click OK. And now let me just go, let's see here. Let me go arrange to a vertical. Now I can see my, my reference image and we're gonna draw some brush strokes. So I've got my pattern stamp tool and I'm gonna get my first one of the neutral um, colors. And just for my demo, I'm just using the uh, the modern impressionist brushes but again this can be any brushes make sure your impressionist is checked and now i've got these beautiful um, colors that are sampled directly from this image and i didn't have to do any work so 
You can have a lot of fun with that, be super creative, and it just saves you so much time. So you like how an image looks, sample those colors directly from that image. It couldn't be any easier. And here, let's use our other color blend. So here we can see we've got those beautiful um, gradations from that bottom of the bottom of the photo. So that's how easy it is to sample directly from images. Any image you see, you can just make a pack, make a color blend out of it and have so much fun. And this opens up a world of creativity and also saves a ton of time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this series of videos and let me know if you have any questions.